12 noon on July 20th, 1944, Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg enters the office complex of Field Marshal Keitel at Wolfschanze, the Führer's headquarters for the Eastern Front in East Prussia. He is scheduled to report to Hitler on the readiness of the home army. Keitel informs the officers that the briefing will not take place in the bunker as usual, but in the nearby conference room of the Lagerbarack, the Situation Barracks. Keitel beckons the officers to follow him, but Stauffenberg stops and asks if he can change his shirt. Keitel's aide, John von Freyand, takes him to a nearby bedroom. While Stauffenberg is inside, the phone rings. It is General Feldgebel, head of the communications post. Stauffenberg says he will call back as soon as possible. Now Keitel gets impatient. Stauffenberg emerges at last, and the officers continue on their journey to the conference room located on the other side of the inner security zone. At 12.35 p.m., Stauffenberg enters the conference room. Exactly seven minutes later, the world is shattered. Thus begins one of the most astonishing chapters in the history of World War II, an assassination attempt on the Führer by a group of senior officers at the very pinnacle of German military might. This is the untold eyewitness story of Operation Valkyrie.